In this video, we would like to share with you our honest review on Lomi. Lomi is an electronic composter that can turn your food waste into dirt. We ordered it from Indiegogo on the first day when they launched in April 2021. After waiting nearly a year, we finally received it in March. We've been using it for a little while, and in short, pretty disappointed. But we're still using it with some modifications. So if you're considering whether to buy a Lomi or not, please keep watching. We'll share with you what we like about it, what we don't like, and hopefully this video will be helpful. The Lomi composter comes with three modes. We tested all of them. And we decided that we will only use the grow mode as we want to keep the maximum amount of nutrients in the soil. But we also tested the two other modes and here are the results. The first mode is the eco mode. We tried the eco mode on day one when we first received it, which is the quickest cycle. The only scraps I had at that time were coffee ground that I had collected for a couple months beforehand. We were curious how these coffee grounds would end up, so we gave it a run. After the three hour cycle completed, it didn't change that much and it just feels like the coffee got roasted again. It actually smells like fresh ground coffee. It almost felt like I could just make another cup of coffee with it, but they're definitely not like compost. There's a Reddit comment that totally reflected uh, how I felt. It stated, what I always wanted, a $500 device that cooks my trash before I throw it away. In reality, we didn't really do it 100% properly on the first time. First, it needs to have like a variety of food scraps, not just coffee by itself. We're just a two person household. We don't have that much food waste every day. So I had to collect them in a bag, tie it up and keep them in the fridge. I know it sounds weird, but it's actually not that bad. Like it didn't stink that bad in the fridge. I thought it was gonna be terrible. We had like coffee grinds and citrus peels and those really helped to remove the odors. We ran the machine when the, the bag got full. The second thing is it comes with like a tablet called a Lomi pod, which is supposed to accelerate the composting process. And we forgot to put it in the first run. After we had finally collected enough food scraps to run it again. This time we tried the Lomi approved mode. The cycle is about seven hours. While the machine was running, it started to get very steamy in the room. The second day when we opened the lid, it turned out to be pretty impressive. I almost couldn't believe what I saw. The size decreased so much. Everything was so dry and ground up. This dirt even smells pretty good. However, there's still a few things that haven't fully broken down yet, like some mango skin, and you can also see some eggshells remaining. We also tested grow mode. You get nearly the same result, except it takes longer with more electricity usage. The whole cycle takes 16 to 20 hours. The difference is the grow mode runs at a lower temperature, so it will keep more micronutrients. But is it really a compost? If you Google it, it'll give you an answer like this. This dirt definitely doesn't have the earthy smell and some of the organic material is still visible. Back to the dirt from our second try. I left them inside a pot and kept it on the porch outside for about two weeks. During these two weeks, it rained a couple times and now it turned into like a hard block. The worst thing is there are many insects living beneath this dirt block. Because things are not fully broken down, it's kind of obvious that the insects like it. Therefore, I decided not to put the loamy compost directly on my plants, since this kind of dirt hasn't fully broken down and it'll attract so many bugs. Instead, I accidentally found a better way to use this device. There was one time I forgot to add the loamy pod tablet after I let it run for three hours. So I stopped the cycle and opened the lid. In such a short time, the size had already decreased so much. And if you mix these things in the soil and then cover with more soil on top, it actually disappears in a couple weeks. And because it's buried, it helps prevent the bugs. Here's how it looks after a week. These blocks start to get some white mold, which is totally normal. And it is significant that things are starting to break down. I usually mix these soils weekly and break down the large pieces that I see. In about two or three weeks, when I can't see any obvious lumps, I will add the compost to my plant. This method is so much better than what I was doing before. Before I just buried the food scraps in the soil and covered it with more soil and they'll be ready to use in a month on a hot summer day. Now after running the Lomi for three hours, it'll break down even faster and it doesn't take up so much space, which is a plus for my small garden. Just be careful, it might get hot when you open the lid. I usually stop the machine after two to four hours, depending on when I remember. And if you're using solar power, if you're not worried about the power consumption and you're not bothered to run the full cycle, it breaks down even faster, almost disappearing one week after mixing and bearing in the soil. We like to run it in short bursts so it doesn't use so much power. We're also doing a test between the original garden soil and the loamy soil with some soaked peas. This test was inspired by the Garden Fundamentals channel. 
Our test is slightly different since we bury it for a while to let these things break down before using it directly. We'll keep you updated on the result on our Instagram story. Voila, that's our experience using the Lomi composter. Overall, I think the Lomi isn't as convenient as it was advertised. I would not recommend using the dirt on the outdoor plants. However, it does a great job decreasing the food waste size and reducing the odor, which saved quite a lot of space in our small garden and the time it takes for scraps to break down. In the end, we still need Mother Nature to do the rest of the work. Thank you for watching until the end. So far, that's the best methodology we could come up with to use it with a least amount of power to get a decent result. What do you think? If you have any better ideas, leave us a comment below.